The Convention People's Party, CPP, has cautioned religious leaders not to take advantage of those who believe in their doctrines by churning out unrealistic predictions. Reacting to predictions by such religious leaders on the outcome of this year's general elections, the party noted such pronouncement will plunge the country into chaos. <laughs> Several of these pronouncements excited the congregation during watch night services on December 31. These prophecies are believed to be given to the men of God by the Creator. But as to whether it will come to pass or not, one cannot judge. However, the CPP believes these prophecies can plunge the nation into chaos. While some men of God predicted the governing new patriotic party would retain power, others insisted the opposition National Democratic Congress will win back power. For the CPP, prophecies should be left out of the public discourse. As much as we are at liberty to exercise our individual rights to faith, we should not and cannot, in the exercise of that right, plunge the nation into chaos through unmeasured flaming of expectations. If you have seen that the Convention People's Party is going to win the next elections, please let your prophecy be to your personal exercise of faith. At the 70th anniversary celebration of Positive Action Day, a non-violent series of protests launched by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, which heralded Ghana's independence, the party condemned the separatist group Homeland Study Group Foundation for the Western Togoland Independence Declaration. We condemn in no uncertain terms the attempts at secession and invite other political parties to join in instructing our people our party members, the masses out there, to stand against any secessionist agenda. Yeah. If political parties operating in Ghana will invite their members to say no to any secessionist agenda, we wonder how it will succeed. Yes. And it will make the work for the security personnel very easy and easier. Yeah.